Today, analog video Balin products are available at such low cost that it makes good business sense to seriously consider CCTV over UTP technology. Video Balins are now available at a cost level that a UTP system is lower in cost than a coax system, even at 100 feet. Balins are available in several termination styles. Punch down block, RJ45 jack, screw terminal. What is a balent? It is essentially an adapter. It simply adapts a coax interface to a twisted pair cable. How does it work? It converts a balanced 75 ohm coaxial cable to an unbalanced 120 ohm UTP cable via an impedance matching transformer. What are the benefits of putting a Balin type device at each end of a twisted pair cable? Lower material cost. Reduce install labor. Longer runs, more versatile, future proofs for future IP upgrade. How do Balin systems reduce material and labor costs? This is primarily achieved as a result of needing only one pair of the twisted pair cable to transmit a video, audio, or power signal. In a video-only application, this means that one twisted pair cable can transmit four video signals. In a coax system, four individual coax cables would be needed, and as a single twisted pair cable is less expensive than a single coax cable, it stands to reason that one twisted pair cable carrying four video signals is far less expensive than four coax cables both in material cost and in labor to pull the cable. And as gem balins are very inexpensive, their added material cost is negligible within a CCTV video system over UTP versus a coax system. Here is a schematic of a typical video only balin system. This schematic represents a 16 camera install with a run distance of 500 feet from the monitor or DVR to the camera. The alternate products noted are for 4 and 8 camera installs and different configurations. This chart details a costed bill of material for a 16 camera 500 foot coax install versus the same using balins and hubs. Take a moment and study this. Total coax material cost is $1232 whereas the total UTP material cost is only $450.14 and it is certainly easier and quicker to pull four UTP cables versus 16 coax cables. You can also run video, power, and data over twisted pair cable. Typically you would use one pair for video and data and the remaining two pairs for power. If you're only running video and power then you would use the remaining three pair to carry the power line. This is a schematic of a video power data UTP install. Again, it represents 16 cameras with a run distance of 500 feet. The power supply and data connection is located at the head end. Here are alternative products for a four and eight channel install and different hub designs, including video power and wall mount configurations. Now look at the material cost comparisons for this schematic. The coax system cost is $1,632. A UTP system cost using a rack mounted type hub is $1,284.80. Whereas using a wall mount configuration, the cost is $1,113.30. 
A very important design criteria is determining the length of the cable that power can be run. That distance is completely dependent upon the number of pairs used, the voltage and current of the camera. GEM has developed a simple distance calculator on our website. This is how it looks. You simply need to insert the variable parameters. Cable gauge, number of pairs used, camera voltage, and camera current. And the distance will automatically be calculated. If the distance is too long for the specific camera that is being used, then a possible option is to move the power supply closer to the camera. This is the schematic for such a system install. Again, 16 cameras at 500 feet. Note the alternative 4 and 8 channel products. Now take a look at the costed bill of material comparison for these two systems. A coax system would cost $1,632, whereas a UTP system is $721.91. In the event that you would prefer not to use a separate power supply, GEM offers uniquely designed hubs with a built-in but replaceable power supply. Here is the schematic for just such a problem-solving system. Again, alternate products show four and eight channel options. And now look at the costed bill of material comparisons for a coax versus UTP system. A coax system will cost $1,732, whereas the UTP system only cost $943.91. GEM also offers rack mount and wall mount designs that can be installed at the head end. As mentioned earlier, the cable run distances can be much longer using twisted pair cable versus coax cable. The following are typical distances for video only balance. A passive passive combination of balance can be used up to 1500 feet. An active active combination of balance is good up to 8500 feet. An active passive combination can be used to obtain distances up to 3,500 feet. Note the active device is to be installed at the head end and is referred to as an active balen or active receiver. Active devices amplify the signal and is not to be confused with a video power balen that is used to transmit power over the UTP cable to provide power to the actual camera. As an unintended consequence of running these long distances, the power supply that is servicing the camera may be from an electrical source different than the head end, and thus a resultant differential ground potential may be created, causing a ground loop. A ground loop condition generally appears on the monitor as a rolling line from the bottom to the top, but could appear in other forms. It can be eliminated with this ground loop isolator. Using UTP cable represents a much more versatile choice. Balen technology can be used in CATV, CCTV, HDTV, and various sound systems. And most importantly, by running UTP cable today, you are ultimately preparing for a future IP upgrade later.